وأقول في القرآن ما جاءت به آياته فهو الكريم المنزل وأقول قال الله جل جلاله والمصطفى الهادي ولا أتأول الحمد لله رب العالمين له الحمد الحسن والثناء الجميل وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له يقول الحق وهو يهدي السبيل وأشهد أن محمد عبده ورسوله صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وأصحابه والتابعين لهم بحسان إلى يوم الدين أما بعد إن شاء الله تعالى I want to do a few verses إن شاء الله تعالى that I feel بإذن الله الكريم it can be a reminder for me and all of you الله سبحانه وتعالى he says إن الذين هم من خشية ربهم مشفقون I'll start from there, inshallah ta'ala, and we'll carry on the verses after that. Allah says, inna alladheena, verily the ones. Ya'ani, inna alladheena, hum, the ones who are, li khashyati, li khashyatihim min rabbihim, the fear that they have from their Lord. Hadiruna qa'ifuna min iqabihi yudawimuna ala ta'ati wa talabim maradatihi. The fear that they have of their Lord is that they take a lot of precautions from the punishment of their Lord, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And they're consist consistent upon the obedience of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They're always obeying Him subhanahu wa ta'ala. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He said also in Surah Al-Ma'arij, وَالَّذِينَ هُمْ مِنْ عَذَابِ رَبِّهِمْ مُشْفِقُونَ إِنَّ عَذَابَ رَبِّكَ إِنَّ عَذَابَ رَبِّهِمْ غَيْرُ مَأْمُونَ Allah says, the ones who are scared of their Lord, they know that the punishment of Allah is not a safe place, is not a place you can... You can tolerate if you go to it. Here Allah says in Surah Al-Mu'minun, وَالَّذِينَ هُمْ بِآيَاتِ رَبِّهِمْ يُؤْمِنُونَ The ones who are scared of Allah, this is their quality. They believe in the verses of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. يعني وَالَّذِينَ هُمْ بِآيَاتِ الْقُرْآنِ They believe in the verses of the Qur'an. وَغَيْرِهَا مِنَ الدَّلَائِلِ وَالْبَرَاهِينِ وَالْحُجَجِ يؤمنون. All the other proofs also other than the Qur'an, they believe in that. And that's the view Ibn Jarir Tabari mentions, Ibn Atiyah mentions, Ibn Kathir mentions. Okay, and some of the scholars they actually just said that وَالَّذِينَ هُمْ بِآيَاتِ رَبِّهِمْ يُؤْمِنُونَ they restricted it just to the Quran, like مَقَاتِلِ مُسْتُلَيْمَانَ مَكِيًا. Some scholars they chose that. Okay, and they مَكِيًا أَبِي طَالِبٍ إِذْ كِتَابَ الْهِدَاءِ إِلَى بُلُوغِ النِّهَايَةِ that's the view he pushed. Also تفسير also نيسابوري in his تفسير he also mentions that as well that it's just the Quran. And some of them, they just said, it's referring to the ayat al-kawniya and the makhluqat, al-dalati ala wujudillahi, that show the existence of Allah, and that's Fakhruddin al-Razi in his tafsir. And some of the scholars, they mentioned it, it's general. Yeah, it refers to al-ayat al-shara'iya and the ayat al-kawniya. And from the scholars that said that is Ibn Atiyah and Ibn Kathir. Ibn Atiyah, he says, وَالْآيَاتُ تَعُمُّ الْقُرْآنَ وَتَعُمُّ الْعِبَرَ وَالْمَصْنُعَاتِ الَّتِي لِلَّهِ وغير ذلك مما فيه نظر واعتبار وفي كل شيء له آية. ابن عطية says it encompasses the universal and the legislative, the Quran and also the universal science. It encompasses it all. Okay, because all of them they have lessons that we can take from it. الإمام الشوكاني he said والذين هم بآيات ربهم يؤمنون he says المراد بالآيات هي التنزيلية وقيل هي التكوينية وقيل مجموعهما. He said that some scholars they said it's تنزيلية معنيين in the Quran and some said it's the universal and some said it means all of that. Okay. ابن كثير رحمه الله and ابن عطية قول I'm happy with and I think إن شاء الله تعالى it's that it encompasses it all. It's general. Okay. It is it is general and not specific to that. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he says, وَالَّذِينَ هُمْ بِرَبِّهِمْ لَا يُشْرِكُونَ يعني وَالَّذِينَ يُخْلِصُونَ لِرَبِّهِمْ فِي عِبَادَاتِهِمْ They do their acts of worship only for Allah tabarak wa ta'ala. فَلَا يُشْرِكُونَ بِهِ شَيْئًا And they do not associate partners with him. And that is the tafsir Mujarir Tabari mentions in his tafsir in Si'di. Okay? لَا يُشْرِكُونَ هِيَ means نَفْيُ الشِّرْكِ الْجَلِي وَالْخَفِي It is negating the hidden shirk and also the apparent shirk. Okay, and that's what Ibn Jarir al-Tabari mentions. That is what Al-Baydawi mentions, Al-Ulaymi mentions, Abu Su'ud mentions, that Al-Alusi mentions, that Al-Qasimi mentions, that Su'udi mentions, that all of those great scholars, that's the view that they pushed. Then Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala, he says, 
والذين يؤتون ما آتوا وقلوبهم وجلة أنهم إلى ربهم راجعون والذين they are the ones يطيعون they obey Allah ما أطاعوا إن that which they obey him من زكوات وصدقات وغير ذلك they obey Allah تبارك وتعالى in the zakat that they give the act of obedience that they come with they pray to Allah تبارك وتعالى with that being said والحال with that situation أن قلوبهم خائفة their hearts are still trembling like that shaking scared من رجوعهم إلى ربهم when they return back to their Lord وبعثهم يوم القيامة and when they are resurrected يوم القيامة للحساب والجزاء فيخافون ألا يتقبل منهم they are scared that it might not be accepted from them. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa explained this to our mother Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha. He explained it to her that these are people who fast, they pray, they do righteous deeds, they are working hard, lakin they are scared that it won't be accepted from them. They are scared that these righteous deeds that they're doing, it will not be accepted from them. Allah then says, Ula'ika, those ones are, yusari'una fil khayrati wa hum laha sabiqoon. أولئك those ones are يسارعون it means يبادرون ويسابقون في عمل الطاعة they're the one who hasten to righteous deeds and good acts تقربا إلى الله تعالى because they want to get closer to Allah ونيل الدرجات and they want to get high levels Allah then says وهم لها سابقون وهم إلى الخيرات سابقون and they are the ones who race and reach the good that they're looking for and the خير that they want that's the quality that they have may Allah تبارك وتعالى Make us from those people who are like that. Uh, Ibn Ashur, rahimahullah, he mentions, ma atu, al-amwala. They give their wealth, their sadaqat, wasilat, wa nafaqat, fi sabilillah, wa sti'malu al-i'ta'i, fi i'ta'i al-mali shai'un, fi al-Qur'ani muta'ayyinun annahu al-murad huna. That this is, he's, respect, he's, he's saying that generally, yu'tuna ma atu is generally, يعني the word الإيتاء is generally referred to as the money, wealth. Okay, so he said that is what is شائع في القرآن. So we should take that the meaning. Okay, and some other scholars they take it as أعمال البر all righteous deeds. الواحد ابن عطية استحسله. Also is the choice of البقاعي and السعدي and others. And from the Salaf who said that it encompasses all of the righteous deeds is Aisha ibn Abbas. A riwayah of Ibn Abbas, of course, he has another call as well. Hassan al-Basri, Sa'id ibn Jubair al-Qatada. Ibn Atiyah, he said, وَالَّذِينَ يُؤْتُونَ مَا أَتَوْ عَلَىٰ قِرَاءَةِ الْجُمْهُورِ يُعْطُونَ مَا أَعْطَوْ That's what it is. Al-Tabariyu, he said, يُرِيدُ الزَّكَاةَ الْمَفْرُوضَةَ وَسَائِرَ الصَّدَقَةَ وَرُوِيَ نَحْوُهُ عَنْ Ibn Umar وَمُجَاهِدٍ وَإِنَّمَا ضَمَّهُمْ إِلَىٰ هَذَا التَّخْ قال ابن عباس وابن خجبير هو عام في جميع أعمال البر وهذا أحسن كأنه قال والذين يعطون من أنفسهم في طاعة الله ما بلغ جهدهم and then he said we went on to say وذهبت فرقة فرقة إلى أن معناه من المعاصي وذهبت فرقة إلى أن ذلك في جميع الأعمال طاعتها ومعصيتها وهذا أمدح ابن عطية من شذو the calls no the views like that Anything which I have said, inshallah ta'ala, that is wrong is for me and shaitan and Allah and his messenger are both free from it. Subhanak Allahumma bihamdi ashadu wa la ilaha illallah astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayhi. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. How can you do a two second action right now that will give you a share of the reward of everything we're doing on this YouTube channel? Simple. Like this video and click subscribe. Why? It will allow YouTube to recommend our videos to other users and imagine the huge amount of reward that could be waiting for you on the day of judgment if you did that with a sincere intention of spreading the deen of Allah. You'll be rewarded for every single person who benefits from one of our videos as a result of your like or subscribe. That's an easy two second action that you definitely don't want to miss out on. Do it now, click like and subscribe and don't forget to make that intention.